Hi everyone, thanks for joining. George Farmer here, live from Green Aqua in Hungary. And it's very, very cool uh, to be here. I'm just going to get in front of the camera. So uh, just a brief introduction. Uh, Green Aqua is probably one of the best aquascaping shops in the world. Uh, I've been wanting to come here for a number of years. Been a friend of Balash and Victor since 2008, uh, before they had the shop. Um, I co-founded the UK Aquatic Plant Society and they were very active on there and it kind of inspired them into the hobby a bit more and eventually with uh, another chap called um, Attila uh, they bought a shop and over the last seven years or so they've just developed it into a, 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 a fantastic shop. I'll give you a quick tour later on of all of the display tanks and you can see the one behind me which Balash created, absolutely fantastic. And it's just a really, really cool place to be, very inspiring. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a hobbyist at heart, um, and just to see all these cool aquascapes and the way these guys work, their whole philosophy behind uh, the shop, it's just, it's just a beautiful place to be. Um, these guys, are, they're not just, they're not businessmen really, they're, they're passionate hobbyists and, and, and they sell the concept of aquascaping through that passion. Sorry guys, went offline there, not sure why. Um, do apologise. Not sure where you, where I left off. If someone could just tell me the last thing I said, because I was talking quite quickly and giving you lots of information. So let me just check if I can see. Live stream offline. So just a reminder guys, I'm not sure what you heard, but we uh, unfortunately lost connection. So 2 p.m. Central European time, we will be going live on the Green Aqua Facebook page. So depending on where you are in the world, obviously that's going to be a different time depending on your time zone. So do, a, do look up what 2 p.m. is. It is a, an hour, an hour and a quarter from now, so 75 minutes from now we will be live on the Green Aqua Facebook page. That's two words, Green and Aqua. It's a Hungarian Facebook page, but they, they do publish a lot in English as well. So do tune in. I will be aquascaping 120 centimeter by 45 by 45 aquarium. This is cool, this is a Blackwater aquascape. Um, and it's just gonna be a, a really cool thing, so. So yeah, these are the display aquascapes. Um, Green Aqua are very much into the nature aquarium side of aquascaping. Um, pioneered by a guy called Takashi Amano that you've probably heard of. He invented the nature aquarium concept. And yeah, it's just a really, really cool place to be. So this is the upper level. Uh, just some really, here's some snacks and things for later on for the workshop. This is a really, look at this. So, hello from Dallas. Hello. So tune in guys, make sure you tune in at 2 p.m. Green Aqua Facebook page, give it a share. Let's spread the aquascaping love worldwide. This is really cool. This aquarium, believe it or not, was actually made in 1906. So it's over 110 years old. Uh, it's had the glass replaced. There's a really cool aquascape with, uh, looks like a limna filler growing out of the top with the really cool purple flowers you can see there really cool aquarium so over 110 years old here's a classic ADA 60p this is one of the most popular aquarium sizes out there for the ADA brand it's on a garden stand there super jet filter, the stainless steel filter glass lily pipes uh, this aquascape was actually created by a German aquascaper called Uris. you might have heard of him really good aquascape, a good friend of mine. I'm actually going to visit him on Thursday in a couple of days. Another really cool aquascape. Gravi gravity defying rock work. Obviously the rocks have been glued together to achieve this effect. And this is something a bit different. Some of you might not have seen this kind of style before. This is like a black water aquascape um, designed to kind of make the fish more at home. We have like a black water extract which uh, makes the water stained, makes it more acidic and basically more suitable for the fish. This is a, 
ADA 60H, so this is taller than the 60P, this is 45 centimetres tall instead of 36. Uh, very cool aquascope there. Let's get a bit of a close up of the fish if we can. So, all the tanks have CO2 injection, which helps, just helps the plants grow much better, more vibrantly, more quickly. Uh, look at this up here, this is really cool. We've got Hemianthus cuba, kind of attached to the to the wood. Hello, Dura, Dura Ticate Reef. Hi Rick, thanks for the feedback. Glad you like, glad you like what I'm doing. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, then do do subscribe. Uh, James says, "What does Joey Mullen smell like?" He wears uh, Armani aftershave, so he smells quite nice. <laughs> um, the top, uh, the moss on top of here. There's a few different types of moss. We've got um, Ricardia camadrifolia right there in the centre of the picture. And then that's going up to, uh, that's, I think that's Hemianthus cuba or, yeah, it is Hemianthus cuba. So yes, Paolo, made it here at last. Definitely worth the wait. Such a cool bunch of guys. Let's have a look in here. This is really, this is something quite different with the wood branching over. It's only been set up for about three months, so Still quite a long way to go. Got some cool plants in here. Some of you might not have seen this one before. This is called Ranunculus inundatus. Looks like a palm tree effect. Then we've got some Monte Carlo. Uh, some Stalgini. Hi Matthias, love your work. Just tuned in. Where am I at? I'm at um, Green Aqua, guys. So if you've just tuned in, uh, just a quick uh, heads up that we will be live streaming on Facebook on the Green Aqua Facebook page. So I won't be on YouTube. Um, the, 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 the whole workshop video will be going on YouTube, but if you want to watch it live, if you want to engage with me, ask any questions during the live stream of the, of the actual aquascaping workshop, then do tune in to the Green Aqua Facebook page. It's at two o'clock, so that's in just over an hour, Central European time. So hope to see you there. If you have a Facebook account, and do tune into it. So just over an hour's time, Green Aqua Facebook. I'll share it on my own page as well. If we're friends on Facebook, you'll see it from that as well. So this is the upstairs. I'm gonna just nip downstairs now. Look at these, they have loads of cool artwork, cool photos of aquascapes that the guys have done. Absolutely stunning. These guys are really talented aquascapers. We've even got a reef tank here for those marine guys out there. Really cool, little Denel A 60 litre. And as a, as a guy, oh, you might be a bit camera shy, but he maintains all the aquariums. Can I show you? So just wave to the camera. Hi, everybody. This guy, he, he, this is your full-time job to maintain all of the aquariums? Uh, seven, seven hours. S seven hours, seven yeah. Eight. Seven hours a day maintaining, and there's 22 displays? 22, 21 displays to, to do? Lots of, lots of tanks. I, I think, I think 26. Yeah. 26. Lots of tanks, so uh, it's a full-time job, but definitely worth it. Look at the, they're all beautiful, they're all really well maintained. Thanks guys, thanks for the feedback, thanks Omar. I'm just gonna go downstairs now, so bear with the darkness for a minute. Just pop down the stairs, here we go, the lights come on automatically. Here we go, look at these cool photos, either side of me. These are all worked by the guys, Aquascape themselves. And the guys actually sell fish as well. So all aquascaping friendly fish. I've got loads of cool shrimp as well, different types of shrimp. All individually filtered. They even do their own tissue culture plants. Yeah, do some fighters there. So not, not a massive selection of livestock, but it's all aquascaping friendly. They're more focusing on the aquascaping dry goods here. Uh, selling plants. Really, really healthy plants here. And then there are some customers at the moment all waiting for the workshop, I guess. So this is a skate, beautiful aquascape by Victor. Set up a few weeks ago, about four weeks, I understand. Grown in really nicely. Got some beautiful rotalas in there. 
I think this one's T5 lighting. But absolutely stunning, I'm sure you'll agree. And then this is my favourite scape in the shop right now. Beautifully grown in, really nice and mature. The reds just add a real sense of warmth and maturity and just the, the textures just seem to work really well in this scape. Absolutely love it. So if you've just tuned in guys, I'm in Green Aqua in Hungary. Um, this aquarium here is the one I'll be aquascaping soon in about an hour's time. So do tune in to the Green Aqua Facebook page at 2 p.m. Central European time. Uh, Giraffe Jackie, you are one lucky guy to, to be there. George, wouldn't mind your job. Yes, I'm very lucky. <laughs> I've worked hard though, it's not all luck. It's a lot of hard work to get there to this sort of stage. Uh, but yeah, very blessed to be invited here by the guys from Green Aqua. Uh, I've been friends with them for years. Um, before they even opened the shop, we were friends. So it's just really cool to see them develop and grow as a business. And they've, they've kind of revolutionized the, the aquascaping hobby in Hungary. I don't think there really was an aquascaping hobby in Hungary before these guys turned up. So something to be really proud of. Um, this is a nice layout, very high, high lighting. It's got the ADA Aqua Skies on there. Uh, we've got some Hemianthus Cuba carpet there and some Rotala, I think that's Mini Butterfly. Look how red that is. You don't really see red stems that red these days. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a close up of the red for you. That's stunning, isn't it? No Photoshop involved. <laughs> oh, thanks, Roy. I'm glad you like my videos. I love creating them. And then we've got two uh, members of staff preparing plants for the workshop. Say hello, guys. Hi. You're live on, on my YouTube. So we have, um, these are all the plants we're using. Uh, crypto, lots of Cryptocoryne, Wender TI, green and brown. We've got some Ludwigia plus super reds, some tissue culture, Anubius pangolino, uh, some Cryptocoryne, Lutea hobbit, and we've got some Buca phalandra wavy green and a couple of other species, so some Iliocaris bacilla, this is all in vitro, so it's grown in uh, laboratory conditions in tissue culture pots, there we go, perfect. So yeah, shout out to Denale, they are sponsoring the event, they're supplying all the plants and the substrate, uh, this is cool, this is a uh, bio bear. Hi Jay, thanks for joining. So I'll just show you around the shop itself, loads of cool products. They're an ADA distributor as well. Some of you may have heard of ADA, really high-end Japanese aquascaping products. Um, so if you've just joined us, we will be live streaming the event on the Green Aqua Facebook page at 2 p.m. Central European time, so in just over an hour. So go on Facebook if you've got an account, look up Green Aqua, give them a like and a share. And then you can watch me in action, aquascaping the 120 centimetre, which is this tank here. Here's Victor, say hello Victor. Hey, hey, hey guys. Victor's one of the owners of the shop, he founded it, how long ago now? 2009? Yeah, yeah. 2009, so do you want to have a quick word to the guys, all my YouTube followers are watching right now? It's, uh, yeah, it's hard to find the words, it's uh, <laughs> already live, but uh, we are, it, uh, the event is exciting, so um, we are looking forward to that. George is a uh, long time awaited guest for us, so yeah, yeah. we're very happy to have him here and uh, hope you guys will enjoy the show, so keep following it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so just a reminder, Facebook, Green Aqua, 2 p.m. Central European time, in an hour's time. It's now one o'clock here in Europe, so at two o'clock, jump onto Facebook, jump onto the Green Aqua page. And watch it live and it's not going to be any ordinary live stream it's going to be a super production um the other one of the other owners balash farkash he is he is an ex film producer he worked in the film industry for years and he's invested heavily into all the latest equipment just to help um you know show off the the live streams to the absolute best that he can so there'll be multiple cameras going um, there'll be uh, information um, overlaid on the video so as I'm talking about a specific plant you'll learn more about that plant rather than just me talking um, it's just going to be a really really cool thing to watch so do try and watch it there we go that's the green aqua logo just so you can spell it if you're not sure how to spell the green aqua I'm sure you can 
What else can we show you? Those are nice Dunlay plants. These guys are sponsoring the event, so kindly, kindly donated a load of plants for, for the aquascape. And then here we have Attila, he's one of the other owners. Say hello, Attila. And here we have Daniel, hey one guys. of the guys, members of staff. I'm just live on YouTube right now. We've got all these aquascaping tools behind us. These guys are just so passionate about the hobby. It's absolutely fantastic. We've got their, they've even got their own branded uh, glassware here. So for those that don't already use glass inlets and outlets, this is what we use in aquascapes to try and minimize that impact of the equipment on the aquascape. We don't want to be seeing the equipment. We want to be minimizing any distraction. That's why we use glass. So let's have a look at their livestock in a bit more detail. Uh, we've got some lovely black neon tetras, nice and fat, obviously well fed, it's a good sign. Uh, got some classic um, harlequins there, s -buys, beautiful. Cardinal tetras, everyone's favorite. Angelfish, Corydoras. These are beautiful. We've got Rasbo uh, Michael Rasbora, Kabotai's, green neon Rasboras. We've got some Ember Tetras as well. Some Guppies. White Cloud Mountain Minnows, Rummy Nose Tetras. So you can probably get a sense of the, what the fish stocking is like. It's all small, relatively small fish. Uh, some algae eaters as well, various Tetras, some barbs. Um, some really cool shrimp. There's some Rocket Killy fish in there. And yeah, it's just everything that you'd need as an aquascaper. You know, plants, hardscape. Oh, let me show you the hardscape. It is crazy. Let's go outside. Cheers, mate. So just check out this wood collection here. So it's an aquascaper's paradise. Loads of wood, more wood that you can never need. This is a, just a brief uh, kind of insight into kind of hardscape layout I'll be creating. So loads of really cool rocks. We've got mini landscape rock with Syriu stone. We've got fossilized wood, uh, lava rock, uh, Manton stone, very expensive product from ADA. Uh, Frodo stone, yep, sexy wood. Everyone loves a nice bit of wood. Um, loads of really, just loads of different cool types of wood. And the shop itself is in like a converted house. It's so cool, look at this. So this is the shop from the outside. Fantastic. Uh, it's in a, a nice part of uh, Budapest, so the uh, capital of Hungary, if you weren't aware. Beautiful city. Had a really cool guided tour from Balash. He was one of the owners. There's three owners all together. There's Victor, Balash and Attila. And they formed, they, they opened the shop in 2009. And they've just grown it from, from nothing uh, into what it is now, which is arguably one of the best aquascoping shops in the world. Certainly one of the best I've ever been in. And I've been in quite a lot now. So the guys are just preparing now for the workshop. It's very, very lucky that um, the guys are doing all the hard work. I just get, get to do the aquascoping, which is really cool. Uh, normally I'm in, I do all the plant prep and set the tank up and everything, but these guys are super, super prepared. And uh, it's a really, really, really cool thing. Okay, that's downstairs. Let's pop up upstairs again. I'll just give you a quick introduction to Balash, who's doing the, uh, who will be controlling the live stream. Super high tech stuff. He's got three widescreen monitors on his desk. And uh, hopefully he won't mind me just introducing you quickly. Here he is behind his workstation. Hey guys, how are you? So uh, I'm just letting people know that you're kind of you're super cool at live streaming and the technology right, involved. It's gonna work, but right now I'm having like connection problems. Okay, well, I'll, I'll leave you. I'll leave you in I'm peace. Doing, I'm doing the sync between sound and, and video and stuff like uh, that. Okay. So it's gonna be fine, guys. Okay, cool. See you later. So that's Balash. This is Alex. Alex is a, a Denale guy. Denale currently sponsoring the event. All the plants, the substrates. Hope you have a nice event. Yes, I'm sure you will, mate. Thank you. Bye. So probably the, the most stunning aquascape in the whole store. This is one that Balash, Balash created for the ADA contest this year. Let's get some close-ups, some of the detailing is amazing. 
Look at that, it's stunning, isn't it? Sorry about the reflections in the background. Black neon tetras there, beautiful fish. And they've got back lighting on the aquarium, so you see it's like really, really bright white behind. And they deliberately light the back up to give you that effect. It's like an ethereal, and it gives you like a really cool sense of depth. I'm the starter for pressurized CO2, that's cool. CO2 injection is definitely the way forward if you want to be serious about growing your plants. So let's, get, let's try and get a smooth slide for you across the escape. This is all Hemianthus cuba growing attached to the top of the stones. We've got some purling there producing oxygen bubbles, which is a really good sign. Lighting on this is there's three pendant ADA Solar Ones, um, super bright, 150 watts metal halide each. So guys, if you're new to my channel, then please give me a subscribe. I do release a vid two videos a week now, every Wednesday, every Sunday. And I do uh, a mix of cinematic style videos and instructional videos, you know, practical type videos. So really trying to focus more on consistent and high quality content at the moment. And if you could support me by subscribing and watching my videos, that would be amazing. So this is a cool scape. For those that have, didn't see the beginning of the video, tips, uh, Rexy, tips for why my Nubius nana pinto is getting hair algae, but not my Crips or Buca phalandra. Uh, could be in the position of the of the Anubius. Uh, Anubius does like to be shaded. It does grow super slowly, so I would, um, if it's if it's in direct light from the aquarium lights, then you might want to uh, think about putting it in the shade. Think about circulation levels as well. Is it is it in a good area for circulation? Uh, Nubius does like to have its rhizome um, exposed to circulating water, so that could be an issue. Hello. Hi Oliver. Thanks for thanks for joining. Thanks for the feedback. It's not hard to create a beautiful video when you're in a beautiful <laughs> surrounding. So I can't take much credit. I'm literally just holding a camera and going around. <laughs> Um, I will be uh, producing a high quality uh, video of the shop with my with my big camera and my SLR and Balash is helping me edit it as well so it will be probably one of the best videos I've ever created so you can look forward to that I'm hopefully going to be releasing that tomorrow so if you do subscribe to me then you'll get an automatic notification of uh, of when that's released so do do keep do keep your eye on on my YouTube so this is the only marine tank in here, so water tank. Really cool. Thanks, Ryo. Oh, thanks for subscribing, David. Really appreciate it. Carl Clownfish is uh, taking host of the bubble tip, which is really cool to see. So I'm going to sign off in a minute guys, if you've got any last sort of questions or feedback for me um, that would be great, but um, last sort of five minutes or so and then I need to prepare myself for the aquascaping workshop and just a reminder if, if you didn't hear me before, it will be live streamed on the Green Aqua Facebook page so you'll need to go on Facebook and have a look at that and it's on in 50 minutes time so it's 10 past now. So at two o'clock p.m. Central European time or whatever the time is with you, in 50 minutes, five zero minutes, we will be live on Facebook. I'll be aquascaping and you will be able to ask any questions that you want during the live, live stream. There will be someone there to ask me the questions that you're asking and I'll be able to give you direct answers via the live stream. So do you do kind of, do get involved. You know, we're all about promoting aquascaping. You know, we're, we're all passionate aquascapers and we all love to share the hobby um, and that's what it's all about. That's why we do these live streams um, and workshops. It's just to really kind of promote aquascaping, get more and more people into it. It is a beautiful art form and it's a, 
it's just a really cool thing to have in your home you know I think we'd all agree you could take any one of these aquariums home with you and you'd be very happy with that so I did get a question there I'm just gonna go back to the chat hang on a second any plans to visit the States in the future uh, hopefully yes the aquatic experience hopefully I'll go next year I have a planted tank with plain sand Plants are healthy but not growing much. Should I replace the sand with something else? You can replace the sand if you wanted to, um, but you could just add root tabs. That would be fine for, for the short term. I can't wait to visit your shop. That's great. Um, any plans to come to the States? Yeah, I've just answered that. It's 4 a.m. in California. Okay. Well, the live stream will be available to watch after the event as well. So don't worry too much if you can't watch it uh, live. Uh, Jacob, love your vids, George. So happy I subscribed. Thank you, Jacob. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, nice shop. Yes, agreed. Okay, we've got 102 people watching live right now. That's really cool. Thank you so much for watching. Um, the video will be available from the start. Again, to re-watch if you want to. If you've only just joined us, it will be uploaded to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to watch it at your leisure. I did have a, a connection issue right at the beginning, I'm afraid, and I wasn't aware of it, so I kind of waffled on for a while, um, but it did reconnect, so hopefully it'll be quite a smooth video for you to watch again anyway. Um, so, this is just crazy, look at this. Look at the stones, look at this, absolutely stunning. Thanks guys. So can I just ask you, um, who's got Facebook and who is going to watch me live that would be really cool if you give me a shout out during the live stream on Facebook on the Green Aqua Facebook page mention your name mention that you watch this uh, video on, on YouTube and I'll give you a special mention so yeah we've got plants growing out the top of the, <laughs> out of the top of the tank if you weren't aware a lot of plants actually in nature prefer to grow out of water and they just adapt to grow underwater so that's why the, the plants are absolutely happy to grow above water. God, I don't have Facebook. It, will it be on YouTube at some point? Hi, David. Yes, it will be on YouTube. The, the, the file, I will have access to the whole file. So I will upload it to my own YouTube channel um, in a few days or so. Um, I'm not sure when. It will probably be next week because I'm, uh, I'm, I don't actually have my computer with me. Um, but when I get home back to the UK, I will certainly make that a priority. It should be one of the best workshops I've ever done, to be honest, because the guys here have just got all the best kit, all the best technology for sharing it on the live stream, all the best plants, all the best hardscape. So it's, you know, it should be a recipe for something absolutely fantastic. Um, just the pressure's on me now to create a nice aquascape. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off now. Um, if you're on Instagram, give me a follow at The Aquascaper. Uh, don't forget to, if you've got a Facebook account, uh, find Green Aqua. There we go. Two words, Green Aqua. Uh, give them a like, and then you can tune in to the live stream in about 45 minutes or so. Okay, just one last question. Um, do you ever cycle your escapes? Do you just don't... Sorry, I missed that. Hang on a sec. Do you cycle your rescapes? Do you just dose before stocking? Um, no, I never cycle. My, if you're talking about the fish you're cycling with, with ammonia, no, I never do that. I just rely on the plants to take care of all the ammonia and, and nutrients. So I don't cycle a tank in a traditional sense. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. Let's just turn around so you can see me. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining. It's been a real pleasure to be able to broadcast from Green Aqua today. Uh, last minute uh, reminder, Green Aqua Facebook page, 45 minutes. Give them a like and hopefully I'll see you there. You take care guys, all the best. Keep on skating. Cheers. <laughs>